Happy Friday, everyone. Extra shot time. No Cornelia today. She's on a little vacay. Finally, this finally, morning, finally took a vacation. Finally. But um, Rob and Irene, we have Hello. them in today because they're going to chime in on really cool stories. Actually, one of them being Irene's story. We've been talking about charcoal and this yes. whole trend of charcoal. What is it all about and, and what sparked the story for you? So it's activated charcoal and I've been seeing on my Facebook all these different videos of people yeah. who have been using them on their face, on their teeth, they've been putting them in food and, and eating them. So I've yeah. seen it in ice cream. I just saw a story today recently that says they've put it in pizza, mozzarella, and pasta at this one New Jersey over. restaurant. Wait, yes. at a restaurant they're doing At a it? restaurant wow. in New Jersey. Wow. So they're well, capitalizing this? on this. Okay, so people do this um, to clear up their skin. They use it, activated charcoal is a powder form. I actually have some on my desk. I should go grab it. Right? Go yeah, grab it. Grab it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's grab right it. there on the computer. <laughs> um, so it comes in a powder form. People use it as a beauty hack to uh, make their skin clearer, whiten their teeth. Um, they say it's good for detoxing their stomach. Yeah. Um, and you know what? It's uh, I talked. This to is just like being at home. I need oh. to go fetch things. Look at that! That's great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I need that's this. great. Use so, it and say, "Where is it?" Right. It's right, on my right. desk. Okay. Right on your desk. So I bought this jar, and this is this is what it actually so looks they, like. Where can you find something like that? Like at a health store or um, something? I just bought this on Amazon. It okay. Cost me like eight dollars. Okay. Can I see? Yeah. Yeah. You can even. Pour. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's really come dark. in, come in close. Okay. Oh wow, very it's powdery. Really dark, oh, powdery. Like fine it powder. almost fi uh, feels like yeah, the powder they put on nails. Uh huh. Like um, acrylic. Do you guys want to check very it out? Very interesting. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. okay, but when you smear it, it's like I don't want to have so cool. people are buying one of these bottles and they're using it for like yeah. everything. Yeah. So they're mixing it with Elmer's glue as a face mask, or they're mixing it with coconut oil to whiten their teeth. Yeah. And uh, I talked to a few experts about this. They say that it doesn't necessarily do much for you. They, there's mm -hmm. not a lot of research <laughs> behind it. Yeah. It's a lot of anecdotal uh, stories that, that they say works for them. Yeah. So legal. Yeah, it's legal. legal, just not FDA approved. Right, right. So what do you guys think about this? The, so the, the actual jar says it's pure carbon, specially processed to make it highly absorbent of particles and gases in the body's digestive system. Mm -hmm. So that's another way that you the can intake. use it. And they say to mix a half teaspoon of activated charcoal with a glass of water and drink it to detoxify as another option. Yeah, because okay. if you just do it like and this, as this a looks reminder, chalky. Your liver and your kidneys de detoxify your body. <laughs> right, not yeah. Because right. you right. haven't been eating enough charcoal. And but isn't this similar to what the hospital <laughs> will give you if you've overdosed on alcohol on a very specific um, mm. drug I believe okay they, they use that in the hospital for for that but when I was down Sayulita Mexico recently mm -hmm. I was there for a wedding unfortunately everyone ate something bad okay <laughs> and everyone yeah was suffering the next morning mm -hmm. luckily for me it didn't affect me but everyone was like let's let's go to the local pharmacy um, because we need to get these charcoal pills these charcoal pills mm -hmm. it was the first time that I had really heard of this and watched people digest what looked like charcoal and that's how were they it doing is. it in a drink it was a pill form a pill a pill form like pop it out and just take it i'm like what is going on you don't know what's going in your body well yeah it sucked everything all the bad out of your body or up from your body supposedly mm -hmm. some people felt good my husband took it did he took like four charcoal pills didn't do anything for mm -hmm. him mm. um so it could be coincidence that those oh it must have been the charcoal right placebo effect <laughs> yeah all in the, all in the head mm -hmm. but um yeah, it's something I haven't tried. I've seen the viral mm -hmm. videos of the people putting the charcoal mask, the very black and pigment mm -hmm. masks on the face. And, and we it's showed really some of that video. hard oh. to tear off. And people are loving these videos because people are in pain ripping mm -hmm. off these charcoal masks. But it's because these masks, some of them, are being mixed with glue. Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. So, so which I feel like you should hurt. also not put that on your face. Yeah. And I've done a story recently with Dr. Alkaitis, who is in Sacramento, and he's all about the all natural makeup and different okay. things because he says your body can digest or ingest rather uh -huh. up to 10 pounds of makeup a year. I wow. believe it. Um, because yeah. Even though you're not consuming necessarily, we're not talking about licking your lipstick and swallowing, right, right. but it's actually absorbed through mm -hmm. the biggest organ in your body, which mm -hmm. is your skin. Yeah. And so Our El if you're mixing organ. Elmer's glue into the charcoal, mm -hmm. you have to imagine that some of that is getting into you. That, you right. know, that's what they say. If, if you wouldn't eat it, don't put it on your skin. But people are eating it. It's still absorbed this. into your body. Yeah. True. That's true. People are eating it. So I don't yeah. know it's necessarily bad for you, but, but again, not part, FDA. The glue part. There's the glue just part. not enough research to support <clears> that that this actually works. I think that's the, the <coughs> main consensus that a lot of experts are coming to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what it came down to, the expert.
it's encouraging or discouraging people from using charcoal in any form? For now, I think it's <laughs> discouraging. I've talked yeah. to dentists who say uh -huh. that it can cause some erosion and abrasion on mm, the surface of the teeth. Right. That's another concern. Some people say it gets that. stuck in the cracks of the teeth and it doesn't come out, so it's black. I mean, Ooh. yeah, it stains <laughs> easy. I'm here going. Yeah, she's got it, it all on her hands right there. <laughs> That's why I didn't put my finger on the dirt. <laughs> so I did it for all of you. you. This morning. Yeah. I got dirty. <laughs> so, um, what are people okay. saying? Anyone uh, chiming in about this? Yeah, let's chime see. in Rob, right go now. Ahead, Rob, go. Okay, okay. Sure. I just want to point this out. I, I think the reason why these these fads get so popular mm -hmm. so quickly is because it speaks to a basic human want which mm -hmm. is if the I could, desire yeah I've yeah. got a couple things going on is right. there any one thing that I could just mm -hmm. do quickly mm -hmm. that can cure what ails me right Whether like a quick it, fix yeah exactly yep. whitening teeth or, or I want to be healthier or I want to clear up my skin and so then you get these products uh, of which we've covered we try to go in th through the mist and try and get it verified but whenever you talk to the experts they're put in this position where they often don't have enough research right. or the research says there's nothing really there mm -hmm. but the human need to really want that to happen turns into this well i'm just going to use it because it can't hurt me yeah, yeah. it's so this you, idea of a quick fix right, right? we're that generation and we've seen this product happen so many times over the last decades which is you know your classic snake oil i'm not saying that this is snake right. oil but in yeah. the past some things where it's it's difficult to prove and it's difficult to disprove right. because you, you end up in this position where you have to keep, you, you, the, the burden is on trying to say, prove to me 100% that this is not effective mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. Well, and and science clear, doesn't really work like that right. because right. maybe there's some, uh, some kind of thing that maybe Subjective, it can help right. and it's not bad for you and people will cling to that yeah. because wouldn't it be great if all you had to do is take a charcoal pill and you're right. done, the hangover's yeah, done, or your stomach illness, but Jackie it's hard Birch. to prove that. Thank you for chiming in, Jackie. Mm -hmm. She says yeah. it does work for withdrawals. It draws the toxins from your body and helps to get through the withdrawals faster. I got it for a family member and it worked. Yeah. Mm. So again, for some people, it works for them. And if Others someone's going doesn't. through that, you want to help them. Yes. Yes. They can't hurt Try you. Try everything that exactly. you can. Exactly, so you end up using it. And you know, to be clear, the FDA has not approved this. Right. And That's so this is not something that has federal guidelines by any means. It hasn't been put through the courses of, hey, it's going to be safe for this and not for this. And so clearly take it at your own risk. We are not right. medical professionals, so talk to your doctor before you choose to use it for whatever you want to. But I will say, we just did a week on apple cider vinegar, and it kind of reminded me of this. So yes. We talked to several different experts. We talked to a homeopathic doctor, right. we talked to a dietitian, and then we talked to a medical doctor. And we got a lot of different variations of opinions on whether or not apple cider vinegar works for a plethora of things. Yeah. And their consensus was it probably won't hurt you mm -hmm. in moderation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There will be people who will have side effects to things based on what's going on in your own body. But if it works, go for it. If, if you don't see any results, and someone else does, that might happen. Right. And I feel like this is kind of the same as the charcoal. Every, bo every body is different. And the expert that I talked to said that this can cause vomiting in about 30% of people who take it. Wow. So that's, pretty, that's, that's a lot of people. High, and that's high number. cannot yeah. be an added benefit unless what you need is to vomit, alcohol poisoning or right. things like that. Right. So. right, right. And well, let's see, Titus Boogie, thank you, said tried the powder for teeth whitening, doesn't work. Oh, okay. So Titus is uh, coming out and saying didn't work for him, but it may work for some of you. Although Jen Jenny right before that says it works on teeth amazing. <laughs> However, I agree it cannot be good for enamel because when you put it on, that enamel's there and you're, anything you put against your enamel right. like it's that. It's like no. rubbing sand against yeah. your teeth. Exactly. Good. So let me say one thing I'm pretty sure that it does work on. After seeing the videos, it will rip out hair out of your face <laughs> and some of those blackheads. And going back, I'm just going to be transparent here. I have used the Biore strips. Remember okay. those things? Okay, oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> adhesive on your skin. You Get the blackheads out. Yeah, and you want it to be strong, but not too strong. Yeah, right. And it seems like this is more or less the same. Uh, after you see that, you're like, oh my gosh. What is going on with my skin? Right. And I don't know but if it's beneficial also, at the end of it or not, but in that one moment, it's you cool. feel like you've done something <laughs> to yeah, improve yeah, yeah. your face. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah, exactly. It for is some reason, you're it's like satisfying. staring at the strip like, wow, all that's like when you get your nose. eyebrows waxed and you see all the hair and you're like, oh yes, I'm yeah. so clean. It's Yes, it's that instant gratification yep. yeah. of something yeah. is solved. Although we don't know, do we want to pull everything out of our skin like that? There are things in our skin that mm -hmm. are supposed to be there for a reason. So, right. Yeah, Denise, 
Jean. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, says, I will try it now to see if I can quit smoking. Maybe it helps with detox oh. and cravings. So, yeah, I mean, if you think this is something you want to give a shot to, you know, let us know if it ends up working out. Yeah. Um, and I can't pronounce the next name. The Chawa? Yes. Chum? So maybe put put a phonetic way to, to pronounce your name. But um, <laughs> you know says, who you are. It actually does work for teeth whitening. You just have to use the right stuff. And so and works great for stomach viruses and pretty much the flu. Mm -hmm. Wow. So for some people, like we yeah. said, it's, it's in that case, buy it in bulk at Costco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Keep go to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Go to Mexico and get it from the local pharmacist because they're like, oh no, this works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But keep playing in, you guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us in that topic.